So guys, any other question? So I think the time is very less. Now we have to move to theme designer quickly and then uh, the smart controls. Any questions? So just try it guys. See if you still need my help. So the best way is like you can follow the open SAP course as well. So I've already pinged you right in that video also or that course also you can follow for this. OK. So in that also they have explained how to extend this app. So let me close all this. Now let's move to the team designer now. OK, so to work with the team designer guys. So what is the purpose of team designer? First of all, so normally in any uh, for any customer that you work like let's say if you're working for so and so customer. So customer always need a modification on this Fiori launchpad like he needs his own brand logo instead of SAP logo. He need a different color to the tiles and even the icons that are displaying and the text for all this purpose. He needs a different colors. OK, and again, let's say we need a different background image for this Fiori launchpad. So how this you can do you can do this with the help of team designer. OK. So to access a theme designer, so theme designer is already a part of your gateway server or your front end server. So you, if, if you want to access a theme designer, go to SAP GUI and simply search for slash and slash UI fi slash. Theme underscore designer, so that is a T code for that UI fi slash theme designer. And now it will provide the URL of the theme designer. Just copy that URL of theme, uh, theme designer. And I'll open that in the Chrome. OK, so it will open the theme designer theme designer. So so far like I created two themes. So how to create a new theme here? So I'll, I'm just going to create a new theme here. So just click on create new theme. Now you can create the theme on top of any one of the existing themes. So this existing themes will act as a template, a ready-made template which will provide uh, some certain set of colors. OK, so let's say I want to go with this uh, Belly's theme. OK, I'll select this Belly's theme and I'll just say create theme here. Now it will open this theme and on top of that you can make the customization on this theme. OK, so let it open. So meanwhile, what we can do, we can we can download some icons. So let's say we want uh, we want some brand logos. Ah, uh, okay. Let's say we want. We can go with any uh, icons, guys. That I think that will be a fine. OK, let's say we want this logo, so I'll just download this. Uh, I think. Looks like it's not free. Because I don't want because let's say. Which one shall we use? OK, wait. Flat. I'll go with this icons and I'll, I'll search for any icons. Let's say I want this icon, so I'll download this icon here. Entity free download. OK, fine. So this icon is downloaded now and now what I will do, I'll go back to the theme designer. First of all, we will change this logo. So to change this logo on right hand side, there is a company logo. Can you see this company logo? So in this just click on this option and now you can just. Um, yeah, you, you we have to drop 
So what is that icon that we want? Go to the download. You can select this. It will come here. Yeah, now select this icon. Just press OK. Now can you see the change in logo here, guys? See the icon is changed now. Now let's change our color. So to change a color, I'll go to the shell now. So see there is a tile color also. Like if any color you want to change or fury tile, that also you can change. So as of now, the border color is transparent and title color is something. Let's say we want to change that color to. It's slow guys little bit. See uh, just now I changed the color of uh, the styles. OK, and now the background color of tiles. I think I need white. I think already it's white only. OK, so what about the icon color? Icon color, I need it. Mm, maybe the same color I need. See the icon color of the tiles are changed. And now the background color, the application background color. So this color, if if we need dark. I think that is a part of shell, sorry. So it's a part of shell. If we go with this and if you press OK, right? Yeah, so can you see the color? It has been changed, right? Now it's it's a dark color, but instead of that, if you want any image. Background image. So you can add any image guys, whichever you feel. Probably we need a dark image. Yeah, let's say if we go with this one. One second, I think I just need to download this. But guys, you're getting it right. What I'm trying to do. I'm just making few modification and at least so far like you can you can do these changes. Download uh, like. OK, finally it is downloaded. Now again I'll go to the theme designer. Uh, let's say we want to put an image. So background, sorry. So I'll just drag and drop one image. OK, see uh, the images change in the background, but now the problem is with the text. Header color, I think some shadow is there. See, even you can make this opacity. I think it will just add. See, background image you can see, right? It's been a little bit on the darker side. So according to your need, you can just customize. Uh, but now I just want to check for the text color. Uh, which is appearing on this, right? It's it's little bit on the. I think some shadow is there to this text. It's not looking good. So 
So for scroll bar also, you can change the color if you want anything. See for buttons also, you can change if you need a button. This is the icon color text attributes. List. Groups again application background. Object header it is. Okay, looks like this is the object he header only. Yeah, I think this is the color that we are looking for. Uh, header color. Uh, it's none. Header color is transparent. Text color is there. What, what is the border color? But guys, at least you got it right. Uh, what are the changes we are making on this? Guys. Yeah. I think we can add a custom CSS also, but explicitly we have to like inspect and we have to see that element. See, this is the field that I'm looking for. And for this, uh, the text shadow is there. If I uncomment, so there is a text shadow, slight text shadow. See now, now the text is visible clearly. Okay. So if we add this, If we add text shadow as none, think fine. See, this is how I have added. Now what I can do, I, I now my theme is almost ready. Now I just want to export this theme. So to export this theme, just go to theme and there is an option save and build. OK, so I just have to save and build this theme. So just click on save and build. Now it will ask for the theme ID. Um, you can give this custom village underscore. Um, one. This is the theme which I have created and now I'll just click on save. Realize one and I'll just click on save. That's it. It's saving and building the theme. Now as soon as you click on save and build theme, so this theme will be available to the end user. So how it will be available? So yeah, I'll show you it. Let it save. So once the theme is saved, right? Once it is saved, then on top, like uh, we just have to, we have to go to the Fury Launchpad, and within a Fury Launchpad, uh, you can see this uh, theme as a part of list.
thing looks like internet is slow on on the remote desktop. That's why it's taking too long to save this thing. OK, so finally the theme is saved. Now let's go back to the Fury Launchpad and you can just reload this theory, uh, theory uh, sorry, Fury Launchpad for a second. Uh, yeah, now go to this uh, this icon, go to the profile icon and go to settings. OK, now go to appearance and in appearance you can see this thing custom belize one. That's what the theme that we created just now. Click on that theme and just say save. See. Now the theme that we created, is it available now for us? Guys. OK. Is it fine now? So I think the change that we did, it's not reflecting. It looks like we, we just apply and uh, login, save and build. But at least you got it right. Now we are able to change the brand logo. And uh, we, we simply added a background image and we uh, we changed some color combination of the tiles. I hope this is clear about the theme designer. So, Abhik, I mean, any uh, questions? Uh, it will be for all the users once it will be, uh, it will be, you know, opened actually. Yes, yes. I think if, if the theme is assigned, right? Because as of mm -hmm. now, this will be available in theme repository. So that theme mm -hmm. repository always it is available to all the end users so they can simply access. Otherwise, unnecessarily like they, they have to. They have to assign this theme to each and every user. So by default, this will be available. I think so. OK, OK, so now.